Hey all you super players out there, this is Lunch and I am back with my Android 21 deck list. I used this deck to take second and third at the two most recent regionals. I got third at the Madison regional and second at Gen Con regional. really think it's a super strong deck but that I am playing a couple cards different and I wanted to show you guys. So first off I want to talk about Heavy Kick Krillin, which is a card that I'm playing that not a lot of other people are. Basically, it's just a free 10k combo, so long as your leader's blue and you have a multicolor energy. So basically, it'll just be active at all times with this leader. It's really good in the early game if your opponent's playing something aggressive like a green or a black deck. And it just allows you to have essentially 11 super combos in the deck. Between your super combos, your Android 21 Ceaseless Despair, and your Heavy Kick Krillin's, they're all just free 10Ks, and a lot of times you can just get a lot higher combo power than your opponent thinks you can. Next, I want to talk about playing the Hit and the Android 18. Now, this isn't a new combo, but not everyone plays it in their 21 deck. The big reason is that Hit can be kind of easy to get rid of now, especially playing against all the green Gohan decks. But the thing about that is, if you have the green or the Hit out with Android 18 in your hand, it actually gets a lot harder for them to actually get rid of it because you can stop their turn 2, turn 3, play Goku from under their extra card play. They have to actually just straight up play the Gohan and it turns makes their turn a lot slower. It's just a great stalling tactic. Also against other decks, yellow especially, they don't have a lot of ways to get rid of it so it can just be an extra draw every turn. And a lot of times you can catch your opponent if they're a Z leader strategy you can unawaken their leader and then they can't z awaken this is really good against some off meta decks like majin vegeta yellow and certain other decks that really rely on their z leaders next card i want to talk about is vegeta the cruel this card is very good against any deck that's going to play a lot of four and less drops so it's really good against green, it's really good against yellow, it just allows you to really swing some advantage, and a lot of times you're going to have open energy because you want to threaten things like the counter Android 21, but you're not necessarily going to be in a good position to actually play that card depending on how they play their turn. So this is just another way to really utilize your energy on your opponent's turn, since a lot of times you'll have a few open. The last and most important thing I want to talk about is Energetic Frenzy Kefla. This card is really good in this deck, and the reason for that is because a lot of times your opponent is going to leave your two Z cards on the field. Because they're unique and they don't want you ramping multiple times, a lot of times those just get left. So between those and Peel Off Shoe and Android 17 and Pan, you just end up with a lot of incidental blue cards on the field. So a lot of times you're only playing this card for 3 energy, 4 energy, it's just going to be really easy to play. Also, it gets around the cunning cards, which is really important for this deck since a lot of people are going to be siding in the cunning one drops against you just because it stops your 8 drop Android 21. Kefla gets around that because it untaps on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to just drop this, draw two, untap on your opponent's turn, and then leave it up. And your opponent really has to do something about it. If they don't do something about it, you just get to keep drawing cards. And especially against yellow, it's just really hard to out. They don't have a lot of ways to kill things in active mode. And if they leave this up for multiple turns, you're probably just going to win. Talking about the Z deck, it's pretty similar. I do play three of the Android 21. I know a lot of people play two, but I find that I use three a lot. So I decided to go with three. As far as the side deck goes, I want to talk about Riot Javelin. So the reason I play this is because it go gets through the Goku turn 3 play from the Gohan deck. They play the Goku with Barrier out from under their extra card, and then you can just Riot Javelin back to their hand so that they can't play the Gohan. It also is really good against black decks, especially the black trunks, where if they play their 5 drop black trunks card and then try to swing with it and evolve, you can just Riot Javelin it and it removes it from the game rather than returning it to their hand. It's also really strong if you know your opponent's going to be playing a lot of Koitsukai to just have a few more negates that are not battle cards and don't put things in play just so that you can't get koitsukai into Oblivion on a turn where you have to play like multiple 17 negates or something like that. Other than that, pretty standard stuff. Keep in mind these were best of one tournaments, so the side deck is kind of 
an addition to the main deck a little bit. Uh, the Gokus would probably be coming out. I didn't really use them that much, and they're kind of awkward to get around. They can really surprise your opponent in certain circumstances, especially against like black decks and some uh, non-meta decks. They're really strong, but I would be swapping them for some Mafubas because the deck really, really needed Mafuba to counter... Golden Frieza and the Secret Rare Cooler card, the one that reduces your hand to five. Honestly, most of the times I lost in both these tournaments were specifically due to that Cooler Secret Rare, so I really needed something else in my deck to help solve that problem. The only other unusual thing is my one copy of Wavering Will. It's mostly for mirror matches. It's just sometimes you can just tap your opponent's whole board when they play a battle card, and that's just really strong. One thing you'll notice that I'm not playing is the 4-drop Android 21 that draws two cards. I ended up taking this out. Every time I tried to play with it, I just got Koitsukai into Oblivion. And Koitsukai is already really good against your deck just because of Peel Off Shoe, Android 17, Blocker Negates. It just hits a lot of stuff in your deck that you're going to want to play. So you don't want to power it up even more. And it's just really not super worth it. I found you're just better off a lot of times playing another Z card, playing an 8-drop, even playing some of the 4-drop full-power counters on your turns if you really need to get rid of something, or just playing, you know, hits and things like that or 1-drops and kind of trying to out-advantage your opponent. Thank you everyone for taking a look at my Android 21 deck. Uh, it's been serving me well so far. I'm planning on playing it in Kentucky in a couple weeks. See if I can get three in a row on the deck for tops. That would be super awesome. And I want to thank everyone who used to watch my videos. I kind of want to start making them again. I've had a lot of fun before, but you know I've kind of picked up a full-time job and kind of ran out of time to make them. We'll see going forward. It probably won't be as often as I did in the past. Uh, it's been two years and I have to get in the shake of it a little bit. I also, you know, I want to do some videos for other games and stuff too. Maybe some fun little lifestyle videos, that kind of thing. So we'll see where, the, where it kind of takes me. I'm kind of open to kind of doing whatever content, but I'll for sure have some more Dragon Ball stuff coming up. And if there's anything you guys want me to talk about in particular, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for the old people coming back and for anyone new checking out my content for the first time. Go out there, play some super, and have some fun.